recapping from that old video, you cannot build anywhere except for placing a campfire without placing first a workbench. As you can see, I need multiple workbenches in my base location to actually build in a large space. For instance, I want to place this around. You can bounce in between different workbenches to place it. And the best way to see it is probably trying to place it more. Here you go, there's a circle. And if I want to put it over here, I'm on the other workbench working off of that. Now they take damage over time them unless you keep them undercover. Uh, water or rain damage them the time. Next thing you need to do when you first start is craft yourself a bow. It makes a huge difference when it comes to this game. Uh, it's quite easy to uh, build as well. You're going to need 10 wood and 8 leather straps which you can get from the wars. Once you've got that craft yourself some arrows, it makes it easier for hunting, especially deer, as they like to run. Next thing as well you need to do is prepare yourself a set of armor. You're going to need the armor for body protection and also make an extra set. It's quite easy to craft some armors, as you can see here. Leather helmet only takes six deer hide. So once you get your hunting skills down, it's quite easy to make. You can also make rag pants, but it's probably better to make leather gear. Uh, as you can see, if you go to the dark forest, you can also get troll hide, which gives you different sets of armor again. You can see the durability in comparison to the rag. 200 durability, troll, 500. Big difference. Make, makes a lot of difference as well in combat. Uh, in the way of tools, you've got this uh, hoe. <laughs> so you can increase the level of the ground as well as flatten. As far as I'm aware, you do not need to be near a workbench to operate it. So we can test it. Let's have a look, shall we? Ah, don't need a workbench at all. Uh, also, try and carry two sets of meat on So I try and keep them cooked uh, meat as well as neck, which is the little lizards. You can find them even in the black forest. Like for me, I found them a little bit over here, which is a little bit of an opening, but there's a new water source and there's less uh, pines. Next thing is weapons. This is probably my favorite weapon so far. So this weapon here is called the Stag Breaker. Literally made from, as it says in the description, deer heads. Now you get that as soon as you learn, um, come to the dark forest and hit it or cut down a forward tree. Should I find it? There you go, stag breaker. So it costs 20 forward, 10, uh, sorry, 5 deer hide and 2 little straps. It's quite a really good weapon to be honest. It does a lot of damage, does a little blast, which I'm show you guys. So you can hit the wall like this. It does a lot of damage in the area. I can drill a bit of as well. Uh, next thing you need to know is the pick. So the pick you can cut terrain away. For instance, if I wanted to keep cutting, I can go over here and hit this. Now, as I'm hitting that, I'm slowly collecting stone. You'll see it in my left corner. There you go, one stone added. Which is a bit silly, you've got one stone for two swings, as if you wanted to increase the land size, you need four stone to even go up a little bit as such. Like that. Which is a bit ridiculous. Uh, you also need this to harvest a lot of your materials, such as bronze, tin, and any other uh, materials such as rock as well. Fire and dark woods. Keep in mind, try and keep some his at base locations because in the water, this has happened to me, there's a serpent and this serpent is merciless. Once you've lost your materials, you lose them from the if you've lost all your picks, you have to redo the boss fight. So you can redo the boss fight as many times as you want, including collecting resources from that so you keep getting the uh, hard horn which is required to make this. Uh, what else is there that I can think of building wise? See the building plan? Green is good, it's well connected to the ground as you get higher. It starts to change to a different shade, eventually you'll get all the way to red. If 
as you see, these aren't quite red, these are like a dark uh, yellow. But once you get red, it won't let you place it with the bedding material there, it would just break. As you can see, it's only this bit here, these two here that are red. Um, I might have to put additional support piece probably in the middle to get grey dwarf eye, as well as the grey dwarf shaman trophy subdue and the grey dwarf root trophy. You need these for a boss as far as I'm aware. So the easiest way to farm them is go to one of these places here, which is a grey dwarf nest. Now, I've seen videos of people saying that you need to farm um, only the big guys, the brutes, to get the great wolf fights. That's not true. You can also get them from small guys too. Uh, I am getting my ass handed to me here. You should see, it should pop up. Um, on there, sorry. Oh no, there he is. Yeah. See, there he is there. Great wolf fight. Getting tins easy. You can find them along the shore in the black forest or any other island. Quite easy as you to pick. You can collect them like that over here. Yeah, that's what they look like when they're non harvested. Best way to harvest them, there you go. You will need the honey recipes down the line um, to get the uh, unlock the recipes. You will need to craft a cauldron, which costs 10 tin. So we're going to craft that now. 10 tin. I'm going to put it right next to our current fireplace. There you go, see? Oh, didn't there you go. You need to put it under the fire. So we'll get rid of this. Get rid of you. Collect it all up again. And put that back over there. There you go. There you go. See, 10 honey, berries. Keep all your dandelions, your berries as much as possible. And then another additional tip when you come to the Black Forest and start progressing in the game, you need a lot of crafting boxes. Oh, not crafting boxes, storage boxes. 